The Scottish Law Commission was set up 50 years ago by an act passed by the United Kingdom Parliament, the Law Commissions Act of 1965. Our role at the Scottish Law Commission is to recommend reforms to improve and modernise the law of Scotland. By establishing the Commission to reform the law, Parliament recognised the importance of systematic law reform. The law must keep pace with a constantly changing society in order to meet the needs of the whole community. In the first annual report of the Scottish Law Commission, three guiding principles were outlined. First, the Commission's work had to be intelligible to the general public in whose interests all of our work is done. Secondly, the first Scottish Law Commissioners recognised that our work had to be accessible to the public. And thirdly, the Commission had to be independent. And we continue to be guided by these core principles today. The independence of the Commission as a public body separate from government is the key constitutional feature. As an independent body, the Commission is impartial and free from political pressures, and we're therefore able to engage widely with stakeholders and to gain the trust of civic society. From that position of trust and independence, we advise the government about changes to the law. The Commission's remit covers the whole of Scots law, both areas of law which are reserved to the UK Parliament at Westminster and devolved areas. On the former, we advise the UK government. On the latter, we advise uh, Scottish ministers uh, at Holyrood. Given this constitutional landscape, the Commission has had to build close relationships with uh, governments on both sides of the border. Over the years, most of the Commission's work has been implemented in legislation passed by the UK Parliament at Westminster and by Holyrood. Implementation of our work over the past half century has brought about sweeping changes in the landscape of Scots law, for example in land law and the law of property and in family law. The Commission's work is carried out by specialist law reformers who are experienced in managing public consultation exercises and in constructing reform proposals to address legal issues and doing so in a way which fits with the rest of Scots law. The Commission also takes account of how other countries have approached similar problems in their legal systems. The Commission's law reform project work involves examining specific areas of the law and making recommendations to ministers to improve the law. Engagement and consultation with stakeholders and with everybody who may be affected by change is therefore a vital part of the process. This is to ensure that any recommendations which emerge are based on uh, what happens at the sharp end and on a practical understanding of the difficulties. For these reasons, we therefore encourage as many of you as possible to uh, look at our uh, discussion papers and to give us the benefit of your views about how you think the law should be changed so that we can ensure that uh, what we recommend is uh, soundly based and practical. Thank you.